there are so many things that scare me cockroaches rats being abandoned job interviews and sometimes even my own shadow but one thing that truly makes me shudder that makes me feel a sense of dread is the fear of running out of ideas or losing my creative touch I know it sounds funny, right? Out of the million and one things in this world to be scared of, that's what gets me the most. I have spent the past decade, or maybe even more, creating, even when I didn't exactly know that that was what I was doing. A lot of my life is centered around my ability to create. Storytelling, content, creativity, social media are some of the pillars that have really shaped my life. In 2013, I started a blog back when I was a fresh-eyed medical student. That one decision ended up being the catalyst for my creative journey and I haven't looked back since. So you see, when I say that running out of ideas or losing my creative touch is one of the things that really scares me, it isn't exactly as ridiculous as it may sound. It's like the great creative struggle and sometimes it gets intense and really draining for me. Starting this YouTube channel has really challenged me and you know for me it's less fluff, it's more substance, more creativity, more ideas to flesh out, it's more and more. But don't get me wrong, I love creating, especially because I have such a great audience that you guys, you know, you guys leave me comments, you subscribe, you share, you follow and all of these things just really uplifts me. But on this end, that is the creating end, some days I get really anxious because it feels like my creative world is about to dry out and I just wonder what will happen to me if that ever happens especially because I'm just starting out this YouTube channel and I just wonder if I ever take a break <laughs> I'll probably come back and I've lost like half of my followership and so it scares me a bit sometimes but lately I am learning to not tie my worth with the ability to create and I'm also opening myself up to new ways of creating that isn't exactly you know the way that I'm used to newer ways that would make life a little easier for me uh, and also help me have you know a bank of ideas that I can always draw out from. See, being a content creator is not beans. If there's one thing I've learned from my over a decade experience creating content and building a successful blog and brand, it is that once you opt in, it's pretty much sleeping, eating, thinking, trying to generate ideas, like it literally consumes you and it can get a bit exhausting. So I'm constantly reminding myself to take notes of the seemingly mundane things and document them endlessly, to weave my daily happenings into stories and draw lessons from them because sometimes that's where the inspiration lies, not in the endless rush or trend watches, but in the little moments. Which is pretty much what I'm doing with this video right now. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you can relate with this, you can turn whatever you're experiencing into a story and sort of build off that. This video is also a note to self because I hope that with every video that I create, I can defy the fear, push my boundaries and keep discovering that maybe my world of creativity runs far deeper than I can ever imagine.